All right, just when you thought that Samsung's strategy was interesting, it gets even better. Because yes, we have some new renders and a crazy amount of information of Samsung's Galaxy S22 series. And trust me, you won't believe where this is going. It looks like we could be getting not one, but two different events from Google this month. And for those of you waiting for a MacBook Air refresh to pull the trigger, cool things you should stop waiting. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, don't forget that you can win an iPhone 13 Pro Max and an iPhone 13 of your own. Details of the giveaway along with our partnership with Subcase are all in the description. This is Pocket Now Daily. There's no official news today, but chill, events are coming, trust me. For now, let's talk Samsung for the first time and we'll be focusing on a phone we've been waiting for a long time and uh, it's not getting any better a few days ago we had a new report claiming that samsung fixed the production issues they were facing with the galaxy s21 fe due to the global ship shortage and that they had started mass production but that might not be the case according to a new tweet from tron where he's citing a korean news outlet the s21 fe october unpacked has been canceled and Samsung is considering not releasing the device at all. They claim that it's due to the chip shortage, but also because the Z Flip 3 is selling so well beyond expectations. Ice Universe also chimed in by saying that the Galaxy S22 series might release in December, and that might be the reasonable reason why the S21 FE is getting canceled. And every year we hear that the S is launching a little earlier than before. So let's see if uh, that's actually gonna happen. We were expecting the S21 FE to bring nearly identical specifications to the S21, but in different color variants, and people were excited for it due to the S20 FE success. But uh, we'll see what happens in October. And by the way, I do agree with the fact that the, I don't know, Z Flip 3 has been so successful. If you have not watched my review where I spend the month with it, I highly suggest you do, which I'll also be linking to. Now, let's shift gears to Apple and a couple of Ming Shi Kuo reports that give us an update on what's going on with upcoming Macs, sort of. For starters, he mentions that they expect the shipments of Apple Silicon-based MacBook models to uh, be cut approximately 15% in the first half of 2022 due to three different reasons. Those being component shortages, which are still going on, structural demand due to COVID, and the product transition between legacy and new models. Now, to provide some detail on one of these MacBooks, Quo also talks about the upcoming MacBook Air. And I don't know if I should call it upcoming. I mean, Apple reportedly plans to begin mass production for this Mac in the third quarter, but of next year. And Quo expects it to bring a new design as well as a more powerful Apple Silicon chip. On previous reports, he's mentioned that we're getting an entirely new design, and it, that includes a mini LED display and the possibility of a direct successor to the M1. But then Mark Gurman also claims that it'll feature a thinner and lighter enclosure to USB C ports and uh, MagSafe connectors. So if they start mass production by Q3, we'll most likely be getting them in an event sometime in October or November, but of next year. Uh, but of course, we're, I mean, still waiting for the rumored pro updates, and I think that uh, will shed some light. Honestly, the only reason I'm covering this is because Quo is mentioning it. And moving on to Google on a very interesting twist of events. <laughs> Pun intended. Let's discuss the company's next event, or should I say events. Google usually hosts their Pixel keynotes in October, and with the Pixel 6 being announced and promoted already, every rumor pointed to the announcement happening sometime next month. But it looks like we can expect more than just one. On a deleted article from CNET that was spotted by XDA developers, they're talking about a Google event set to happen on October 5th. However, to everyone's surprise, we won't be getting a pixel on this date. Instead, the article mentions that uh, they're gonna focus on Nest travel and map products uh, this time around. But those of you looking for a pixel date, Michelle then went on to find the Gcam flag that might reveal the real launch date for the 6 Series. Apparently, this flag was reportedly changed to October 27, 2021 on his device, which has Pixel 6 Pro props. After this date, it will prompt the user in app for an update, hinting that there will be a phone by then. He claims that an October 19th launch followed by an 
October 27th release date seems plausible. That same release date string is empty on his other Pixel phone, so apparently something is bound to happen on the 27th. So yeah, two possible events from Google this month, one happening very soon focused on speakers and their other devices, and then the Pixel, and I wonder why not just one. But finally, for the hottest news today, let's go back to Samsung, but it looks like Galaxy S22 leaks are starting to get serious as uh, we have a ton of uh, ground to cover today. And I actually like where this is going. Let's start off with the name and uh, then move on to the design. And trust me, you'll understand why. According to Tipster Chun, uh, the new lineup will consist of the Galaxy S22. Now listen to this, S22 Pro, which will replace the Plus, and then Galaxy Note 22 Ultra replacing the S22 Ultra and with the S22 Ultra now being called the Note. Ice Universe is actually claiming that multiple sources of information all point to the same conclusion, which is the built-in S Pen on the S22 Ultra can be 100% determined. We also have our first renders from OnLeaks and Ice Universe for the entire lineup. According to these renders, the S22 and the Pro or Plus will follow up on the exact same design uh, that we have at the moment with the triple camera array at the back and the punch hole in the front. And when it comes to the Ultra, we get a squared off design that's very reminiscent of the Note 20 series and we're also getting some new camera housings. There's two possible designs, one being the sort of P module with four different lenses and the laser autofocus, which is what OnLeaks designed. And the nice universe take has uh, the camera separate with three on one array and then the fourth lens and the flash and the laser autofocus would be next to them on a different little module, sort of like the P20 Pro, but to the side. These leaks show off a red color variant that looks pretty hot. But most importantly, they also show that this device does bring a slot for the S Pen at the bottom. So yeah, the regular variants will remain essentially the same, but it looks like Samsung is really taking the whole merging of the Note with the S Thing series, but now with a more logical name and a very interesting approach. Uh, in today's question, I mean, what do you think about these Galaxy S22 series leaks? Because I'm not gonna lie that I love them. Like, I do love my S21 Ultra, don't get me wrong, but I do not like to have to carry a case for the S Pen to fit in. I really want it to be integrated, and honestly, with the way chips are going and the way they're becoming more power efficient, we don't need those massive batteries. If I can get an S Pen to be able to be tucked in, I would be a happy guy, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me, uh, I don't know, be shocked, but like those ideas. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.